Hello there folks and welcome to my video review of the Airzound Airhorn. I got this off uh, ebay.co.uk from a place called SJS Cycles and I only paid £17.49 for this with free delivery. That was the cheapest I could find it anywhere. So I went ahead and got it. Um, quite impressed with it. Build quality is really good. I just thought I'd show you around the, uh, the actual horn, the tubing and the the air canister, where is it? There. Okay, so what we get is the horn, and that just clips onto the handlebars. If I can just get that off, it's quite a strange way of fitting it, clicks on, but to pull it up one, two, twice, and it goes on this little this little white bracket here. Now the bracket wouldn't fit my handlebars as standard, but luckily the, the air zone does come with those little rubber adapters to go around handlebars, these things here there we go, one of those, comes with a couple of those so it's not a problem but when I put that on it was just spinning around at first so like I say you put those on and it grips it um, and the air zone just goes on the top there got that pipe out of the way and it just clicks into place basically yeah we'll clip, click onto there <coughs> I shan't click it back on just yet. What I'll do is I'll show you around the actual horn. It's really difficult filming at the same time though as I'm trying to show you. What it does have on this air zone is a volume adjuster. Now from what I can gather, where is it there? All that seems to do is squash the air tube so it's reducing the flow of air pressure so it just makes it quieter. I have tried it it does make it slightly quieter but I'll just keep it on full whack to be honest yeah so just pop it back on there it's grey in colour I thought it was black it's a shame really because I wanted it to go with my black bike but it's not a big problem it's got a grey tube on it and it's a clear bottle there we go and the bottle is just like a pop bottle really but the same thickness and it pumps up to maximum of 80 psi and when you do blast this thing off it is deafening I tell you it does hurt years um, it's got a grey rubber cap there you get your grey pipe that comes out and I've actually permanently fixed mine to my bike with cable ties there just all the pipe in and it comes round round my stem and goodies on the handlebars and goes into the air zone. I'll just clip this back on here now. You just put it over the top there, it's like a little clip, and just push it down. Two clicks, one, two. It does mention that in the manual anyway, it shows you how to do it. Um, come around the front, and there it is at a bit of an angle on my bike, but it is really really loud. I watched videos on YouTube of this and it seemed loud but when you actually get it it is deafening. Gets the tension of drivers anyway, it does its job. Uh, right I'll just show you some things on the box which is not mentioned when you buy this which I was a bit concerned about but we'll just have to see how it goes. So here we go. It tells you that it's very loud obviously 115 decibels and somewhere on here it does say that um, the tubing will last longer if you cover it with I'm just looking for it now where is it there you go if you can see it there apply UV protection such as armor all I think I pronounced that right uh, to the tube to extend its life so I'm not sure how long it's going to last without that protection. And there was one other thing. And what was that? Oh yes, and also down here it says. Uh, well, it says very loud. Do not use close up to ears, which I would not advise. <laughs> and it says extreme cold will inhibit performance. I've yet to try that. But he doesn't mention this. On the website obviously you only discover this when you buy it so we'll just have to see how we go but I think it'll be okay that's a few little things little glitches <clears throat> about the product 
and something else I forgot to show you is how you actually inflate it. Just lift that up and it's the Strider valve. Dead easy to do, especially if you've got like a track pump. It goes up to 80 psi and I would recommend a track pump with a gauge on it as well because you don't go too much because it'll blow the bottle. It's just there. And there's not really much more I can actually tell you about it. You've got your warning on the back there, 80 psi. I can give you a quick blast, but it's really loud. It's going to sound terrible in here, but I'll give you a quick go without trying to wake my neighbours. So here we go. Wow. Now that has made my ears ring. <laughs> right. Okay then, folks. So there's not really much more I can show you about it. Um, oh yes, there is one other thing here. It's held on by Velcro, the bottle. It comes in like a, a Velcro cover on fixed to the bottle. Then you've got like a Velcro pad here, which is held on with cable ties. Really simple. I mean, the idea of it is to remove it. But I've just decided to fix it on permanently on my bike. It should be alright. Okay then, folks. Thanks for watching this video. Um, hope you've got some ideas about the air zone from this. Bye-bye.